welcome back to Skinny Brew Rugby. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It's over here. And if you want to join the Super Brew Pools, look in the description below. Okay, so the games this weekend. The Chiefs versus the Hurricanes. Uh, the Chiefs are on a four game losing streak. And they've looked very poor this season. Whereas the Hurricanes are playing very well. Uh, Barrett and Laumape, they are completely in form. And I think it's an easier call for this one. I think the Hurricanes will win. The Chiefs, I'm waiting for that game where they put more of a fight on. Maybe this one. Uh, I'm thinking the Hurricanes by nine. Then the next game is the Australian Derby, the Brumbies versus the Waratahs. Uh, the Brumbies played well versus the Chiefs. Everyone thought that meant they are looking promising for the season. But now that we see this Chiefs team with their four, lo four losses, uh, maybe that win of the Brumbies doesn't mean that much. But further, they, they did play impressive rugby in that one game so we know they have the ability um, Lialifano is looking really good then the Waratahs I want to see how that back line that is shuffled like I said in the review video which I will link up here they are very they like an all-rounded team everyone in the back line can play any position I do think again it's a mistake to play for Lau on the wing he does play a lot better at fullback. Last week there were a couple of mistakes with Beal and Falau being out of position on defense and the Reds capitalized on that. But hopefully this week they pull it together and play a bit better. I think the Waratahs are going to beat the Brumbies by five. The next game is the Stormers versus the Jaguars in Cape Town. The Stormers have had an interesting season. They had one big loss in the start. Then further, they had poor performances, but they still won. It looks like they are uh, playing a game of winning at all costs, even if you play poor. Uh, maybe it gets better when they play a bit more. Uh, I am looking forward to Lades playing at fullback. Willemse is on the bench. Lades did play really well in that little bit of time he got in every game from the bench. Then the Jaguars, they have a very poor record in South Africa. Uh, they looked very good in that final moments, that last few minutes versus the Lions, where they almost got away with a one bonus point. They did steal a bonus point from the Lions. Uh, but they're still finding their feet with Bonija as the number 10. And I think the Stormers will win this by three. Then the next game is the Sunwolves versus the Reds. The Sunwolves have looked really good this season, uh, especially in that win versus the Chiefs. Further, they have lost, but on all those games, they have looked good. Especially, they had a narrow loss against the Blues most recently uh, in New Zealand. And traditionally, the Sunwolves only win in Japan. This game is in Japan and the Reds are traveling over there. They have not beaten the Sunwolves in Japan thus far. The Reds have had three losses this season. They aren't performing that badly uh, with Karevi being the captain and leading the charge. Uh, but I think their massive issue is they are lacking a fly half which can take charge with the boot so in this game the Sun Wolves by seven then the next game would be the Highlanders versus the Crusaders uh, all New Zealand affair but the Highlanders haven't really made a clear-cut statement this season they have had a lot of unconvincing wins and last week they missed Frizzell a lot then the Crusaders, they are unbeaten. They are playing very attractive rugby with a lot of tries being scored. But they have to lose somewhere. I can't think that they will go undefeated this season. That hasn't happened in a lot of years in Super Rugby. 
But so who knows? Maybe this is the week where they lose. But I think the safe bet would be for the Crusaders to win by 12. Then the last game for the weekend is the Lions versus the Rebels. The Lions really need to beat someone else than the Jaguars this season. They've beaten them once in Argentina and once over in South Africa. They are playing very attacking, meaning sometimes there are defensive lapses. You can just look at the score of last week, the amount of tries the Jaguars did end up scoring against them, meaning there is a bit of a problem on defense. But the young guys for the Lions, like last season where Deanti stepped up and became a Springbok, the young guys for the Lions are looking good, Chituka and Similane. Then the Rebels, it's their first game which they are traveling, uh, so it's now over in South Africa. Usually the Australasian teams, especially Australian teams, struggle over in South Africa. But the Rebels have looked great, but somehow they only scrape by in their games. So this would be now the ultimate test for Cooper and Guinea to see if that combination is good enough to get away victories as well. Uh, away from Australia that is but I think at the end of the day the Lions are going to beat the Rebels by 16. We, we move on to the fantasy ruck before the weekend this is my team for the week. Harry Johnson Holmes he announced himself to me last week I didn't really know he, who he was before then but he was very impressive he scrummed well and which impressed me was his four turnovers he got in that match he was playing like a flanker. Then Owen Franks, he's constantly been playing well. He's always a reliable choice. He doesn't do spectacularly, but he never fails to get the job done. At hooker, I have Dane Coles. He is back to his top form and returning to his best. With Dane Coles, there's always the chance of him scoring a couple of tries and getting meters. Uh, then at lock I have Scott Barrett. He is playing really well. He's stealing lineouts and he's scoring a try every now and then. Then my other lock is Eben Etzebeth. It's a bit of a risky pick. He's not at his best yet. One of the games he played, he came off the bench. Uh, but he's that enforcer you need in the team. And he always has the ability to steal a lot of lineouts. Hopefully he can get back into his best form for this game. Then it's Ardi Savea. He makes a lot of meters, he scores tries, and he's had a couple of good performances this season. Then I have the duo of Kwaja Smith and Marne Skuman. The two Lions flankers are dangerous. They are um, all over the park. They make a lot of turnovers, they run a lot of meters, and they score a lot of tries, which is very important in Super Brew. Then at Scrummy, I have Genya. He makes a lot of assists. He scores a try every now and then, but where he is very dangerous is his sniping rolls. He has the ability to beat a couple of defenders. Then at fly half I have Bowden Barrett. You know what you get from him. He scores tries, he makes passes, he makes a lot of meters. But the only concern with him is his couple of kicks. He is inevitable to miss in that game. Then we move over to the centers. Laumape is on fire, he is scoring tries like crazy and making tons of meters so he's an obvious choice at center. Partnering him is Goodyear, uh, he's trying to secure that spot in the All Black starting team and you know he's going to make a couple of meters for you in the game. In the outside backs it's Maddox from the Rebels, he somehow fi finds a way to score in every match, especially now with Cooper who's passing out wide it increases a lot his chances a lot of scoring then Jordy Barrett the third Barrett brother for this weekend's team they are playing against the Chiefs who are playing very badly this season so I'm thinking the Hurricanes backs must score in this game so it's an easy choice to pick him and he plays at best when Bowden is playing alongside him then in the outside I have George Bridge. He also just always scores. Hopefully he can get an All Black call up this year. But there is a lot of contention for, for that All Blacks outside back spot. Okay that's everything for the week. So if you haven't subscribed yet please do. Go like the Facebook page. 
Join the Super Brew Pools in the description, you'll find it. And then I'll see you for the review video. Cheers.